Hi everyone, welcome back to The Happy Heart. Today I have a really special 4th of July uh, haul for you, all from the Dollar Tree. Uh, Anthony and I and Ryan were all out to dinner and the Dollar Tree was right next door and so I said, Anthony, can I go to the Dollar Tree? And he said, sure, and him and Ryan sat in the car while I went into the Dollar Tree and so I got to shop all by myself, which was awesome. And um, I picked out some really cute 4th of July decorations because we're having a barbecue cookout for the 4th of July. So um, without further ado, let me get on to the haul. First off, no cookout or barbecue is equipped without any paper plates. So I got these really cute paper plates. These ones actually have more of a wordy American flag uh, type of America pattern on them instead of like traditional just flags and I really like that better I just thought they were really cute so I ended up getting two and then after I shopped a little bit I kind of went back and got two more because I thought for dessert people are going to need plates again so um, I ended up with quite a few of these but there are 14 in a pack so I thought that was actually a really good deal usually you only get it when you buy specialty plates like this at like Walmart or something you only get about eight so 14 I thought was really good and I really like this pattern. In that same America pattern I got um, two packs of napkins. They were the luncheon napkin. Thing. I also got a couple of these plastic tablecloths because you can't go wrong and I got three of them. I think maybe I'll only use one but you never know and for a dollar you just can't go wrong. I picked up a pack of 48 forks. I have found that for barbecues, especially um, when you have cookouts and things like that, nobody uses spoons and nobody uses knives. So it's useless most of the time to buy the sets with forks and knives and spoons. So I just bought a set of 50 forks. When I first walked in, I found these three pack of mini flags and I'm actually going to put them outside along my driveway. I have kind of a U-shaped driveway so I got two packs of three and I wish I would have actually got a couple more but I did put them back. Um, but I'm going to put them out along the driveway and make it kind of festive when people pull up. Dollar Tree had a lot of hanging decor. These were my favorite ones that I found. They are paper fan decor and they have um, one that is the same pattern as all of my um, plates and napkins and then another one that just had stars on it and I thought these would be really cute to hang up um, in just something you don't see all, all the time. It's kind of more of like an old school type of thing and for 4th of July and traditions I think you can go a little bit old school. I plan on having flowers on my table anyway because I just really like flowers. So I got these little stick-ins. They are like foam wand stick-ins. And I think I'm going to have a couple other places I can use them. But if you were going to make centerpieces, you can't go wrong with four for a dollar of these. And they had other really cute stuff so you could make a little centerpiece if you were going to make your centerpieces. These are actually two different things I got for hanging outside. I had already bought a wreath for my door, but... Um, I thought maybe I could hang these over a beverage table or out on my porch, something like that, and I just thought they were super cute for a dollar. The other really cute thing I found is I found these um, light up LED necklaces, and they have little stars on them. And the little, um, so supposedly the little stars light up. I think that I'm going to put them around my tables and make um, them into my decor. And I figure, I felt like the light would be really festive. I don't think it will be dark outside, but if it was, it'd be really cute. Or if you wanted to wear these to the fireworks or get them for your kids to wear, um, I thought they would be really cute. So I think I'm going to do more of a decor thing with them. But I thought it was a really fun, cute thing. The other thing that I couldn't resist was I got a couple packages of sparklers. Um, we're going to have some kids here, and I just thought these would be really fun. If we don't use them for our cookout, I know that we'll use them on the 4th of July or just um, just randomly for fun. So I picked up there just three packs. I know at Walmart you can get the double packs, and they come six to a pack, but I don't know if they're any cheaper. So these were the three packs were each a dollar. 
the other really cute thing I got was I got these little jingle bells and they um, it's actually like a little door hanger I love these I know they sell them for all the different holidays and I have a bunch for every different holiday and Anthony kind of makes fun of me I put them on my door and I feel like in the middle of the night if somebody tried to break in I would hear the jingle bells okay I don't know why I think that I would wake up to that because I know I won't but it makes me feel better and so why not have them match every single holiday right so um, I picked up I had never seen fourth of July ones before and so I had to pick those up I picked up these really cute table decorations they're stars and the star you actually put them together and it makes a um, kind of a 3d star they didn't have red, so I'm assuming that people who bought these probably bought red, white, and blue, which is exactly what I would have done. But So I just decided to buy the silver and the blue that they had and um, put them on the table anyway and go for it. Okay, the last thing I bought for the party was I bought the Super Miracle Bubbles. I I'm, think I'm going to get some bubble guns for the kids, but I'm waiting to see how many people are actually coming. And I figured you can't go wrong with bubbles. And for a dollar, this huge thing is a really good price. The last thing I bought for my barbecue was I got this grilling tray at the dollar store. And it basically um, is to grill vegetables. I really wanted to get some asparagus and probably zucchini, maybe green beans, and grill those up for my barbecue. I know that sounds kind of peculiar for a barbecue. Um, and most people just want to you know come and eat meat but I'm more of a vegetable girl so I wanted to make sure that I had a a way to grill them and for a dollar you cannot go wrong for one of these that you can just throw away you know that you can't go into the dollar store and just buy the stuff you need right so as I was walking around looking at all the cool stuff I saw a couple things that I just thought I needed but they weren't exactly what I went in for. The first thing is they had a whole bunch of really cute flip flops and they're just like the cheap plastic ones. I thought these were cute, um, like coral color and they have this paisley inside. I thought for when you go down to the beach or the pool or something like that for a dollar, I couldn't pass up really cute ones. They also had really cute, um, 4th of July ones, so if you're going down to the beach or the lake or something like that for 4th of July, um, they had, for a dollar, you cannot go wrong with um, some new flip-flops to get wet. The other cool thing I got is I got this over-the-door hook, and it has two separate hooks, and I thought this would be really cute for in my bathroom to hang my robe, and other random thing is I got some gardening gloves. I have to get ready for my barbecue, and I need to pull some weeds outside, so I really need some gloves. I got these, I got these towelettes, and they are by Off, and they are two individually um, wrapped towelettes that protect against mosquitoes, the Zika virus, West Nile virus, um, ticks, fleas, gnats, chiggers. So I wanted to throw these in my purse and just have them for whenever because we have a really bad bug problem down here in the south. The other really cool thing I found at the Dollar Tree were thank you cards. These are a, mo a really modern looking pattern. Um, so they look kind of trendy. It's a yellow and gray. Um, and it just says uh, very special thanks. There's eight cards to a pack and they were only a dollar and that's the best price that I've actually seen anywhere. I also picked up some household items that I really um, always need. I got some sponges and I really like the yellow and green ones. Two for a dollar, you can't beat that. It's better than Walmart. I picked this up on a splurge item. It's There are multi-surface wipes and they say they work for granite, tile, wood, stainless steel, and glass. I have no idea if they work. They come in a pack of 30. So I thought the pack was big enough that I wanted to try it. A lot of the things you get um, at the Dollar Tree, you have to look at the quantity you're getting because sometimes it'll look like a good product and it might work really, really well but you're only getting five of them. So I always look at my quantities. Um, and I'll let you know if these actually work, but I've heard good things about them. I also picked up a water bottle. That's kind of my um, Dollar Tree staples is they always sell water bottles. I got this smaller one um, to kind of use to wet my hair, um, but they sell bigger ones if you make your own cleaning products. And so there are always 
um, empty water bottles at the Dollar Tree and I really liked this one and the color. So. The other thing I picked up was some Glade um, cling wrap. I really needed some saran wrap but the kind that I bought, um, the Great Value brand that I did have has not been working and I've been trying to use it and use it up but at this point I just need a product that works. So I got um, this one for a dollar. It's only 45 square feet which isn't very long but I actually don't use it very often. I have, a lot of my stuff has lids so I just wanted something that in case I needed it that I would use. The other thing I grabbed is I grabbed these, um, they're a salad serving set um, and they come with two different, a spoon and like a sport kind of spoon and I grabbed two different ones because we were having so many dishes I figured you're always going to run out of serving spoons and I just wanted to make sure I had enough so I grabbed a couple of these for just in case. The other great thing you can find at the Dollar Tree is you can find packing supplies depending on how much you need. I got this pack of two count bubble mailers. Basically they're an envelope that has bubble wrap inside so if you're sending something fragile. I actually sent out some stuff for Father's Day that got broke. So we're remaking it and I'm going to send it out in these um, as soon as I can. Hopefully by the end of the week. Cross your fingers. The other thing the Dollar Tree is really good for is if you have any occasions that you need cards or um, little things for gifts. So I actually have um, a mother-in-law who has a birthday coming up and I went in and got um, some word count book or some word crossword puzzles for her and they were a dollar each and I'm just kind of a, oh I remember that you really like these um, to put with her gift. My bestie's birthday is also coming up next week as well. So when I was in there, I knew I needed a bag and I had got her gift already, but I found some really cool things. I found these jewelry boxes. There's a three count of these, um, they say gift boxes, but I would assume like when you go and you buy jewelry, they put it in a box and that's what these are. They're different sizes, but I had bought her some, um, specifically some bracelets. And I thought I should put them in these boxes to make them look nicer. And um, I just thought it'd be a better way to wrap it. The other thing you can't go wrong at the Dollar Tree is gift bags. I found this really cool gift bag for my bestie. And it's black, but it has these iridescent stars on it, and I thought it was so cool. And she really likes colorful, fun stuff, and so I thought this would be a really cool bag for her. I also got um, a 20-pack of tissue paper for a dollar, and the tissue paper has some glitter in it, and it's just white with glitter so I can use some of it for her gift and I can save some of it and for a dollar you really can't go wrong. The last thing I got her is on my way out I found these reusable bags and this one has a bunch of cameras on it and so I'm actually thinking I might save it for another gift for her or I might put some dog treats in it and give it to her dog when I go to see her. I'm not 100% sure but she's really into photography and I thought this bag was just so cute and I like the idea of giving reusable bags because there's um, a purpose in them and it's not just something people throw away or stick in their closet. There are a ton of cards at the Dollar Tree, so I picked out one for my bestie. I already had a birthday card for my mother-in-law, but I picked out this one for my bestie, and I thought it was just so pretty. It says, um, it's this pretty floral, which I really liked, and it said, I'm so thankful for you. That's why your birthday is so special to me. And so I really, I'm super thankful for her, and I wanted her to know, but this card actually rang up 50 cents, so sometimes if you pay attention you can get you can look and see and get cards for cheaper than a dollar so be on the lookout for that as well so that is the end of my Dollar Tree haul thank you guys for watching to the end of the video and seeing all my household items plus all of the birthday gifts and um, just random things I got as well if you hit that little bell notification that will tell you when I post videos I will be posting a 4th of July video to show you how I decorated my house and what I did with all the stuff I got from the Dollar Tree and I'll be doing that in about four or five days 
it this video is going to go up on Wednesday and my party is on Sunday so I'll probably be posting it on Monday so give me about four or five days and you guys can see the finished product of what I did with all my Dollar Tree stuff after I do that video I'll link it down below so you guys have it all right that's it for me so thanks for hanging out with all the shopping chaos if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the fun and I will see you guys again